Hello everyone, welcome to our Facebook Live event here from Harvard uh, Community Unit School District 50. Uh, I have a special guest here with me today. Nikki Gardner is our new principal. You're not brand new, I guess. You're just <laughs> new. Uh, she started the year off and uh, getting used to things, but our new principal at Washington School, our pre-K building here in Harvard. And so, Nikki, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Uh, there's no need to fear. This is very <laughs> painless. We have a good time. But uh, we do these, especially with our new principals, because we really want our community to, uh, to know our um, most visible members of our building sometimes, our principals, because they're out at events. And uh, we really love the fact that our community has this really vital pre-k building with a lot of people so Nikki let's just kind of get to know you a little bit more okay. and so this might be like the question you said at your first interview <laughs> tell us a little bit about yourself and your interest and how you eventually find yourself here in Harvard okay um, so I am originally from Southwest Missouri the Springfield Missouri area um, born and raised uh, we moved here six years ago um, due to my husband's work mm -hmm. um, uh, I've been with my husband. We started dating when we were 16. Oh, so we've really? been together a long time. Mm -hmm. um, and we have three girls, a uh, 20-year-old um, Kelsey, a 14-year-old, almost 15 Kylie, um, and a 10-year-old, almost 11 Katie. Right. Um, so I keep it confusing with their names. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <a lot of> <laughs> <laughs> yes. And my husband's Keith. Okay, so we good. just add, you know, make it really confusing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we moved here six years ago. I in Missouri. I was a teacher. I taught for 15 years. Okay. Um, kindergarten, first, second, and third grades. Oh, great. All in the same building. Hmm. Um, so I didn't move around outside the building, but I moved around a lot inside the oh, building good. to get that experience. Good. Um, I had a first year teacher mentor who pushed me to get my degree in administration when oh. I was going for my master's. Nice. Um, she eventually became a principal and kept pushing me to try to you know, get out of the classroom. Oh, um, so I did some summer school principalships there. Oh, good. When we moved, she said, do not apply to any teacher jobs. <laughs> this is your time to get out of your comfort zone. And so I applied um, only for administration jobs in Illinois. And for the past six years, I was an assistant principal in the Round Lake Area School District at an all kindergarten building. Mm -hmm. We had about 500 kindergartners. Um, and uh, so that was that's where I've been for the past six years. And then um, when I saw this opening for Washington, um, I love the littles. Mm -hmm. Early childhood is my passion. Mm -hmm. And so I, I jumped on applying and, and hoped that it worked out. Well, it fantastic. <laughs> 500 kindergartners in one location. Is yes. that a little frightening? Um, um, I think it's happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, frightening for some people probably. but That it, means it was... you're in the right job. Then, because <laughs> some of us, that, for an ex-high school person, that's a little frightening. Yeah. I can still remember my first trips to Crosby and Washington. Um, Students coming up and saying, "Oh, you're the new sir," and like giving me a hug, and I, yes. that for a high school person, that's really something you're not ready for. Great. So they, like, "Whoa, they're hugging me! What's <laughs> going on?" But I, that's, I mean, sounds like a really good thing, and uh, yeah. the value of having a good mentor right. uh, is appropriate today. <laughs> uh, but just having that guidance, um, do you still keep in touch with her, or oh, does absolutely. she kind of yeah? Talk she to is her? actually um, retired. She retired as a principal, and she lives in Kentucky now. So she moved from Missouri to Kentucky, but we. Um, we text and call all the time. She's, oh, that's fantastic. She's definitely a good resource. Well, sometimes just someone that has an external point yes. of view without <laughs> the names of the particulars, it's right. really helpful to have yes. that. Good. So in Southwest Missouri, are mm -hmm. you a Royals fan there or yes. a Cardinals fan? No, Royals fan. Royals fan, the, okay. All the way. My dad is from Kansas City. Oh, okay. So right. um, my grandpa's backyard, we could see Kauffman Stadium. So, really? Wow. Yes. Okay. So you <laughs> so really I are there. Was a huge Royals. Fan. You had no yeah. choice in that then. No, not well, at good. all. <laughs> well, so it is uh, the middle of September, and you've been mm -hmm. uh, with uh, with us since August. Um, what have you kind of learned about Washington? And I mean, it's it is different that it, we have a, it's really an at risk um, building. It's not just everyone. Mm -hmm. What have you kind of learned about the way we involve our Washington students and kind of how it gets going and how we involve them and your staff and the whole process? I mean, there's so much to learn as a new principal. Your brain hopefully has settled down a little bit and trying to think about <laughs> all the things there are to learn. Definitely, but I do feel like Washington is a, is a good foundation for the district and is completely inclu included in the district. We're doing the same initiatives mm -hmm. and focusing on the same goals. 
um, that anyone else in the district, whether it be Crosby or Jefferson yep. or you know all the way up to the high school, our teachers have those same goals. So mm -hmm. focusing on PLCs and mm -hmm. making sure that we are truly setting those students up so that by the time they get to mm -hmm. those upper level grades that they're right. ready. Right. Um, so I think it's an all-inclusive district and I love that the preschool program is included in that. Well, it's an interesting point you, uh, you brought up because we, for the first time, have our some of our Crosby teachers in art and music yes. actually um, with you at the mm -hmm. ends of the day providing art and music to our pre-K students for the very first time. And, uh, that was a really, you know, important thing for us to do because, as you said, we don't want Washington to feel like it's on its island. Right. So talk about those teachers and how, you know, they're having a chance for their students to, you know, give them some exposure to art and music. That's something we it's really value a, in Harvard. It's been an awesome experience. Part of our preschool program is in, including the arts and the music and movement. And so to do it in a little bit different way and to open Crosby's I, teachers eyes of how preschool how they start at preschool and get to them at kindergarten and that transition has been a really nice thing mm -hmm. too um, it's awesome to have those teachers there and you know we've talked about building those relationships it's just another person in their corner when they go to Crosby next year if they're mm -hmm. ready for you know kindergarten that they're gonna they're, or if they see them in two years then mm -hmm. you know it's right. building those connections and having those relationships is is so key yeah. and they bring in the fun you know the ukuleles and the, yeah <laughs> and the, well one of the the biggest events of the year is the washington um winter program mm -hmm. uh, right before the christmas break and um with our music teachers there even more now i just can't imagine uh, the new heights that's going to go to yes that's exciting um our teachers the washington teachers are working with them um, they're starting a weekly collaboration um, mm -hmm. just to discuss um, how they can best meet the kids um, needs yeah. during those end times and um, starting to already plan those those right. concerts and and I mean I from what I've heard the concerts were awesome to begin with so I'm super excited yeah. for this year. make sure you go early to get a parking yes. spot because it is <laughs> one of the biggest events of the year actually around the district um, well, Nikki, one of the things that was really interesting when you applied and we talked about it in the interview is the idea of how to build that growth, as you just kind of talked about art and music. Um, because we are a part of a unit district, meaning they're going to move up mm -hmm. through our same system. So how do we make sure that our pre-K kids are going to be kindergarten ready? I mean, there's a lot of talk about preschool for all and mm -hmm. the importance of, of anything prior to going to kindergarten. How do we as a unit district kind of make sure we're setting our kids up for success? I think that collaboration um, across the buildings and making sure that Washington knows what is expected at Crosby and Crosby knows what it looks like in pre-K. Mm -hmm. Because we are defined by the preschool for all grant, it mm -hmm. looks a little bit different, but there yeah. are modes that we can make sure that we're implementing those skills and those small groups and things um, to make sure that we are aligned standards wise so that it's a yeah. smooth transition to kindergarten. That's a, that's a really important point because that transition for not just parents but obviously for the kids <laughs> is a, a big thing to get right. used to that and it's it's wonderful that kind of that you've seen kindergarten for those last mm -hmm. six years and kind of know what kindergarten should feel like and right. look like and can kind of... And we're looking a lot at backwards design so what mm -hmm. what we want we know what we want them to learn so designing it to make sure right. that they're they're getting it from three four and then are ready to go. Uh, anything surprise you about Washington? There, were, there weren't really any surprises. Um, I've just been so welcomed by Washington. They it's are great staff. amazing. Yeah. They're just amazing. They're super supportive, super helpful. If I have to ask somebody to do something that probably isn't the most likable thing to do, mm -hmm. they always answer with a smile, mm -hmm. um, always. And I've, I've been, it's just been amazing that um, you know, sometimes working with preschoolers all day is tiresome, but they don't they don't ever show that. Right. Um, they're just 110 percent all the time. And we hear that about you too that you're not afraid to get your <laughs> uh, roll your sleeves up and get to work too with the students. I think I'm, staff, I'm in it with them. <laughs> staff appreciate that too. And um, one of the things that's interesting about Washington is that it kind of fills up more as the year goes yes. on. So I know that last week was the first screening mm -hmm. to identify more students um, as they kind of uh, become age eligible. So right. uh, that's a big process. And I think 33 students? We screened 33. Screened 33. Yeah. Yes. That, that, what's that like? Because I think people may not understand how 
people go to Washington? What's how do if I'm have a like a two year old or a three year old and I'm thinking about maybe my kid could go to Washington? How does that work? So we have an interview process that's part of the the screening. Um, they they contact the school office and we set them up for a time. They come in with their student. Um, we take a picture of the student so that we can remember their faces mm -hmm. when we talk about them later. Um, there's an interview process, and um, then they're screened using the dial four. Mm -hmm. um, so they go, the students go to a classroom. Okay. They're also hearing and vision screened just mm -hmm. to make sure that everything right. checks out there. Um, and they go through concepts and speech and language and motor and just kind of see where they are developmentally. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's an exit screen, an exit interview, just letting parents know about our program, mm -hmm. and then we follow up with them a couple usually two to five days later to let them know if they qualify. Right, right. So we have a placement team that goes over all every student. We bring up every student's picture and every student's information and we dive deep yeah. um, just to see where they're where they um, are falling on the on the checklist. And, so for example, if uh, in that screening there is mm -hmm. something identified as a particular need, um, and they come to Washington, mm -hmm. what's next? How do we get to that or how do we you know, grow with them and help them kind of get to a point where we understand them and their learning needs. How does that process work with your so, staff? So um, we bring that up when we intake a student and they register and become part of Washington. Um, we have weekly meetings um, with our multi-tiered sports mm -hmm. um, system and we discuss their dial scores and kind of what areas they might be struggling in and mm -hmm. we have people who push in um, to the classrooms to make sure that those um, students are getting that foundational support mm -hmm. and yeah. we give them time to acclimate to the program oh, okay. um, but we are talking about them every every two weeks at least um, just well, it sounds like it's, progress. it's very personalized then yes. to those kids and what we may be really unique about them. Yeah, yeah. That, well, that, yeah. that's obviously. <laughs> and I think the, the parents, too, I yes. mean, because obviously yes. it's their first exposure mm -hmm. to our district. And so what I often hear is that I just had such a good start to the district because of that care that your staff and you created in that, that's you know, what we that continue. family environment, it feels mm -hmm. like that. Because uh, your first school experience, we just want it to right. be good in our district. It prides itself that you know we really want you to feel like we're working hard for you and the needs of right. your kids. And I think you guys get off to a good start. I can also vouch that uh, Miss Gardner has gone down the rolly slide <laughs> on the, on the playground, did. which is I one did. of my favorite <laughs> parts of Washington is to go uh, whenever things are a little hectic here. If I go to Washington <laughs> for a little bit and can talk with the uh, the kids there and look at them going down the rolly slide and typically yes. it's not too hard to invite me to go down the rolly slide <laughs> with them but you've uh, been down the rolly slide. I did. I heard it was an initiation and I, yes. I don't take challenges lightly so <laughs> I, I went down the rolly slide. They The students loved it because I brought some momentum so then they could go a little faster <laughs> yeah, all right. after, That's after true. I went. Uh, see, I, I didn't know, know why they were lining up behind that me so much. Why. Now I get a big guy going down the slide uh, yes. getting those wheels rolling. Right. So in your vision for like where is Washington headed, what are some of the things that uh, our families might expect to see in the coming, uh, coming months or years at Washington that might be new or different? Um, we are really trying to streamline our process. Washington is an inclusion program, so we really mm -hmm. include, um, we make sure that students' needs are met in the general education classroom, and so we want to build on that um, mm -hmm. and include even more students. Um, and really streamline our process to make sure that they are getting all of the need, all of their needs met mm -hmm. in that general education right. classroom by the teacher sure. and and the specialist as well. So just making sure that um, that that's occurring and that um, parents are involved in that process and just knowing what's going on in their students' classroom and mm -hmm. who the faces and names are um, that are meeting those needs. Fantastic. Um, to the point where Washington received some recognition this summer and was asked to present on yes. some of that uh, region. You want to give a shout out to Seamer's staff that yes. are the experts? Yes, um, Lindsay Dutch, our social worker, was able to go and uh, Tammy Basil was invited but had a had a previous engagement but they were mm -hmm. both invited to go um, present at Early Choices um, right. in Springfield um, about our inclusionary processes. Yeah, which is uh, amazing. Just a part of that really caring, yes. deeply committed staff to our district and to our kids. And it yes. really just, you can feel that when you come in the buildings. Um, we have a fundraiser coming up that sounds yeah. like something that I really <laughs> want to go to. Why don't you give a little plug sure. for that? Um, our parents' teacher, our parent teacher group is. Um, 
hosting a fundraiser with Los Jalapenos Brothers um, tomorrow night. It's Washington Wednesday, and um, they are doing their burrito special for $4.99 um, a burrito, and we get 10% of all of the burrito sales to um, be able to buy things and do things for our students. So. You, and I can personally vouch for <laughs> the high quality of those uh, as I'm a personal, to try one. personal fan. They are fantastic. So. Do that and then come to our board meeting. It'd be yes. a great, uh, a great <laughs> evening. Um, what uh, are some other things that maybe we would be surprised to know about you? Let's. Uh, oh, surprised to know about me. Um, you like to see. name your uh, children starting with, uh, with K. K. Well, okay. okay. You learned so that. That along with that, they all have five letters. They start with K and end with I. Oh, okay. Um, because. My husband starts with K and I end with I, and we all have five letters. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. So let's take so, some symmetry there little, to little the whole thing. Number, number weirdness, yes. When I was assistant <laughs> principal, um, when there were multiple children in the school, I always felt it was important that you named your kids alphabetically. So that was one of my things, okay. that they had to be <laughs> alphabetical. Because when I go look for a kid and would find the um, the freshman before the senior, I'm like, oh, they're all out of order. That didn't make any sense. So we all have those little things. Um, favorite child? Uh, childhood trip as a kid? Oh, we didn't go on a lot of trips, um, but we did. When I was eight, my um, uncle got married in Milwaukee, and we got lost in downtown Chicago. Oh. <laughs> and so that was like my only memory of Chicago oh. when, we, when I found out we were moving here. <laughs> so it was, like, was like, it was, oh, it was a no. really good trip. It ended up being a good trip, but um, that's just a funny memory that yeah. we attach to us now living here. Well, we are a ways for your family that's watching from you know, Aunt Gladys in Kentucky and all those people that are watching. We're a long ways from there and yes. Nikki's uh, not lost at all. Uh, but she's really added a great spark to Washington. And Nikki, I just want to say great start and we're just so happy Thank to you. have you a part of the district and I'm the things that the things you're doing are really remarkable and I uh, I just will keep uh, plugging away and making a difference for our kids and the more we start them successfully and support them we know that yes. that's just going to stack on uh, successes yeah. on top we want of each other. to be other. that foundation and face of Washington where we start them off right. Yeah, fantastic. Well, thanks everyone for uh, joining us with uh, Principal Gardner, uh, our new Washington School Principal. Uh, we'll have, be back again, I think, next month with another Facebook Live edition. Thanks everyone for your support of our district. Thank you.